Jay Gibble. Hello, I am Melinda. MJ Life Atlas and Tarot Card Reader, your Atlas to Life. My contact information and all of my social media links are listed in the description below. Hit me up to schedule a personal reading. And don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications, of course. I highly recommend my newest spread, and it's currently only available exclusively by me. MJ Life Atlas Tarot. It's super rad. You're going to love it. It's the only tarot reading you need right now. My collective vibe analysis incorporates the flow of one. I take into account the yin, yang, masculine versus feminine balance, the five elements, water, air, earth, fire, and what exactly spirit is trying to tell us now. Plus the mind, body, and soul connection, and the push and pull from infinity. This spread checks in to see how each of these areas of our consciousness are communicating individually and as a whole. The collective vibe. It's for everyone. I designed it to help ease us through our ascension pains and as we evolve into full enlightenment. This is a general tarot reading right here to introduce my collective vibe analysis tarot spread. If this reading does not resonate with you, that's when you should listen anyways, or at least that's my opinion. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Okay, and I did do, I wrote it down on my little iPad here so I wouldn't get lost, okay? Can you see it in your camera there, Travis? Yes, I can. Okay, so for our yin, we get judgment. Check it, we've got my little painting I was making. And there's chakra balancing going on here. So you can put it in any direction, actually. But let's go with this. Okay, right here. For the yin, we get judgment. For the yang. <clears throat> I pulled this card. I like to line everything up. I'm kind of weird about, like, angles and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so judgment is on the top side here. This is gonna talk about the female attributes. Okay, and as I was pulling these cards, I was sensing a whole lot of awakening is going on. This card, it's telling me, the mass upgrades have begun. This card is also referred to as rejuvenation. How very fitting, because that's exactly what we've got going on here. And now, we are all in the process of manifesting our dreams and we've become aware of our infinite beings together as one. But just be sure not to judge yourself too harshly because waking up ain't easy. Also do your best to continue to stay positive and high energy amongst the shifts and changes. Keep your eye on the prize and direct your thoughts towards your goal. Stay ambitious and you will succeed. We all will. And lucky for us, we have a wealth of resources and information we can utilize. There's so much love and support out there. Use it. Um, okay, did, did you kind of show them this weird spread here? I did. It's kind of strange. Like, we're staying in an apartment for a week that we rented on the top of a mountain in San Diego. And I'd love to show you how beautiful the city looks outside. But the camera just doesn't do it any justice. Like, not even slightly. It's so weird. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a cold day. For some reason, our allergies are really bothering us. We're from Ohio. Gamble, puppy, come over here and say hi. Come here, Gamble. He's mad. Here. Do you guys want to see his toy? Look, it's, it's this guy. Uh, there you go. Get it. Show him. He also stole one of the washcloths from the... Gamble, say hi. The candy cue. He's perfect. <laughs> Okay, so our next little step here, the next card that I pulled was the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is going to represent the male attributes, the yang, you know, side, the, those principles. And, like, as I was pulling this card, I was seeing the color green. And I want to tell you it was lime green, like, to be exact. It's showing up strong, like an aura. I'm feeling reward. It feels like we are being rewarded for a job well done. 
So give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. This lime green ray of light is beaming strong. Like, as if it's replacing something. Oh, Campbell. Some stress or difficult energies that we that used to surround us. We got rid of that stuff. Come up, up, up. Come up, up. I get the feeling that the job is done. We did the hard work of letting go of that which no longer serves us. And now that those negative vibes are not around us anymore, we're not obliged to stay attached to people or places that bring us down. We are coming into our light and really letting it shine. And we are not alone. The world has acknowledged us and we are being accepted for who we are. Okay, so now let's go into the attributes in relation to the elements. I'm going to put this where I can like lay the cards and I hope that you are able to see them. So let's pull this down just a little bit. Okay, my doggie needs to get comfy with mama. He's mommy's boy. Okay, so for water, I pulled two cards and I, I think I'll put that over here. I mean, I know that that's where I want it. So let's put one here and one here. And look at that. We have the ace, two freaking aces. The ace, that's like, but it, it really makes sense. The ace of cups and the ace of wands. Okay, so what this is telling me is that before we begin to feel different from the others, there's a whole lot of socializing going on. And it makes me think we need to get back to that. I keep feeling the word B, like capital letter B and capital letter E, like with enthusiasm. We need to be sociable again. It's only through really understanding and getting to know others that we can share what we have to offer. And the two aces together, both referring to new beginnings, gives me the message that we need to go back to our roots and be who we really are. Like together, out in the world, actually congregating and experiencing the way it feels to be with others. Like us. Like other people like us, okay? After the pandemic ends, of course. So then for the air attribute, right? This one also has two cards. And that's what I pulled the Ace of Cups or sorry, excuse me, the magician, which is also a number one. So we have one, one, and one. So we pulled the magi magician, excuse me. I'm a musician, so, you know. Um, and then we, I got the world of all the cards. And so that's the number two. And I, I was being given to, like, like the Nike slogan, just do it. We I feel like we've all dreamed about it throughout our life, like our whole lifetime. Like, will there ever be a time where people gather and there's not competition or fighting or negative drama and energy all around? I really feel like we're making the world a better place and our magic combined is going to result in us being able to live our lives without checking the people around us to make sure that none of them look like they're gonna pull a gun out and start shooting innocent people. That hate violence is going to disappear from the world. I can feel it. So keep doing what you do. And keep taking advantage of all of the tools available to us. Because we are constructing the new paradigm. Like the new paradigm that we never even thought was possible. A world without violence and mean people. Like I dreamed of it, but I just didn't like expected to ever happen in my lifetime and we're the beginning we're going to set this up for everybody later on so okay only like we're, here we are creating it with all of our good intentions and abilities to manifest faster together and it's so exciting when we are aligned with the universe we can do anything we cannot fail each one of our successes affects us as a whole and that statement holds so much more meaning to me now in 2020 than I ever anticipated possible. I'm witnessing with my very own eyes and feeling it all around me, everywhere I go. 
And we traveled the entire country for a living, so I can really feel the difference from when we started traveling in 2014. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. It's getting better all of the time. Love pure and untarnished does exist and it's 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 in the air i was beginning to wonder there for a while so now let's look at the earth right and for the earth i get the nine of cups i'll just put this guy down here and you know yep ours we are opening up to the feel that unconditional love and happiness like we we can sense that again like when we were kids before we accepted that the world wasn't such a nice place and we let it hurt us but i think we have to realize here with this card that these things take time we aren't going to just snap our fingers and all the cavemen around us will have joined us and changed too Honestly, we need to understand that there will always be negativity in existence. Only it's our viewpoint and outlook that's going to change. And so for one thing, we aren't really drawing it towards ourselves like we were in the past. But also, we are going to have to conceptualize instances and like occasions where we are going to have to feel like we need to hold on to old patterns and certain things we have known all of our life. When in actuality, we will become attached from what used to make us feel. Because this love now, it's one love and it wins. And the more of us who know it, the better we all feel. But with growth, old things are lost. So just keep that in mind and don't fall back, you know, for the rest of us. Because you lose, we lose too. We are one and we don't want to have to re- Pete, work to bring you back any more than we have to. Because you know we will. We love you. Just stay strong to your morals and values. Using any shady tactics at all to get closer to the prize we all want is going to karma the rest of us too. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Or take the easy way out. Because all of that comes back on all of us too. Do the hard work the right way and all of the way for all of us. You are not just you anymore. And I think that's going to be hard for a lot of people who, you know, like have the good intentions, but they grew up sort of like sharing in jobs because ultimately the tough stuff that will benefit everyone the most is not work that can be shared. It's not work that anyone can do for you. Independence is what is enabling wholeness. Sound confusing? It's really not. It makes the most sense. Actually. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at fire. And our ring of elements. Okay? And this is number 11. It is justice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I want to say it like that. Um... Okay, for justice, it's just like, yeah, don't use underhand methods or it's going to come back and haunt you. If you don't acknowledge and choose wisely, it's going to come back around for you to deal with all over again. And you can't look at it like justice. You could look at it like justice can be served. Only now we're using this new sense available to us and we're learning how to work with like with that. <coughs> excuse me and clear the collective consciousness and so that's just going to take a while to fine tune as we all heal together it's not going to be as easy for some people as it is for others to like incorporate or even realize that they can't scam their way to the top because when they try they're going to fall and now we are all going to fall back a little too with them no worries, though, because those things end up healing us all. We grow a little stronger each and every time these things happen. Those lessons are disguised blessings. I call them blessings. And they happen to us 
like for a reason so that like it'll help us get this new different system down packed the universe isn't sabotaging the mission it's forcing us into a more authentic and desirable outcome and these things are just my opinion so anyways um, okay, so for the fifth element, it's spirit. And spirit, to me, I'm going to lay out like this across the middle because I picked three cards for spirit, and, and I do reversals because it's not always rainbows and butterflies, okay? So we get death reversed, and the very next thing we get is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And the, then we get the Hermit reversed. And I'll try and quickly go through stuff. I'm sorry for talking so much. But I feel like, okay, this is what Spirit's trying to tell us right now. Right now. In our present moments. Okay, so the, the death card in reverse is telling me that... Let's see, okay. It says, I'm getting that we might be ready to move on, but the world is still catching up. Because it's all so new and, and we're experiencing some hiccups and reluctance to let go. We aren't actually sure how to make the change quite yet. But with the Wheel of Fortune turning up for our second card, big change needs to happen. It's like a really good omen for us, actually. If, if I was doing a personal reading, I would recommend starting a new business or changing careers. I kind of look at this, at it like it means that like whatever you currently have in place is going to change pretty drastically and so be ready to incorporate the new system and today <clears throat> i'm totally being drawn to the fortune aspect of the card so i really think it's saying we have the potential to make a fortune and you have to consider that like that which is valuable is all within the eye of the beholder so I'm not referring to money. Not in this instance. I feel like as long as we play fair, now is the time. And I do want to mention that even as I was pulling the first few cards for this reading, I was getting major success vibes. And I was even feeling that, that, like that lime green colored aura, which is what I was thinking of again, just as I was about to turn these cards over, especially the middle one. So... And the third card for Spirit's message now is the Hermit in Reverse. And it's making me think of seeking advice from counsel. I always consider the universe as a strong force of wisdom. And that's what I'm getting here. If you pay attention, you're going to start seeing the signs turn up around you. Someone who has tapped into the vortex can help make connections with the numbers and the messages being sent for you. I can do this, you know. I, I've been studying this for years and it's just everywhere around me all of the time. And it's like a book that I'm reading all day. I know what's going to happen next and all that. Okay, so, and more and more of us are tapping into this. There's so many ways, like so many people sharing their information. So that was my point. Like if we share what all of that means by connecting our team of spirit guides with each other so that they can share more with our present environment. Now, it just, when we're mindfully attentive to and can read the messages being given to us, we can help them help others in so many ways. It spreads, that was what I was getting at. And it gets easier and more fluent. Like it's a win-win for all of us. And in my opinion, the flow don't need no struggle. I love the flow. I'm part of the flow. So are you. Okay, so our next three cards are going to be the mind, body, and soul. And so for this we get, and I'm just going to lay them out this way, ten of pentacles and the stars. Okay, and then we get the four of swords. I'm not a real huge fan of that card. But we also get the four of cups. All right. Now, my interpretation of this and what I was feeling and thinking when I, you know, saw these cards, right, pulled these cards, is now we have two fours together, so we have swords and cups. But we had two aces earlier in the reading. 
so the way that these are working together is like this. Okay, so you have the Ten of Pentacles first, and that one was saying to me, cultivate boundaries, stick to routine. I don't know why I got that from that card. I don't even think that... It, it's just what <laughs> I was being told. And sometimes that's the most important thing. So keep or establish some firm boundaries and don't step out of line. But then like earlier at the beginning of the reading, I was catching a, you need to put a little more effort into your social life vibe right here. So I'm being taken back to how this section is linked with that. This outside world is going to take it out of us. And that's why I just mentioned setting and keeping firm boundaries in place. Gamble grumbled. He's ready for night night. So, and then I mentioned sticking to routines. I think this means we need to set aside or keep time for self. Because unless you take that, that time alone to recoup and just take care of yourself and really just think and process everything that is happening out there, then creativity and analytical thinking might get blocked. We don't want to lose contact, like spiritually, which will happen if we don't stay grounded and do the maintenance work to stay balanced inside and out this month. I just get the feeling it's going to be really hard for us to keep our balance this month. We're going to be receiving too much input from the world around us, and it's going to take more work than usual to keep it in check internally. So if I was any of you, I would look into some holistic approaches for your health and well-being and watch what you were eating too. And as always, drink water to filter out toxins, but also throw in a little yoga, do some stretches to help with blood flow and oxygen exchange, and throw in some easy things that don't take much effort, like the simple stuff that helps more than we realize. For example, maybe some aromatherapy. Like for me anyways, a comforting smell will keep me remembering what's important to me like as long as I'm smelling it. Like the, this sounds dumb, but I like patchouli. It reminds me of, of comforting times. And my mother used to use Gain laundry detergent. And like I can use Gain laundry detergent and it just takes me back to when I was comfortable and safe, right? And in my house and car... <laughs> We love background venereal beats and with isochronic tones. So like sound frequencies are like food for your mind and soul. They can do wonders for your state of consciousness. If you don't believe me, try them out on your dog or children. Or any children young enough to not complain about what you're playing in the background. Just watch. The mood will clear and a peaceful, pleasant atmosphere will result before your eyes. And it'll happen quicker than you believe it too. Our dog lays down happily to rest, even when there are other dogs close by that he wants to go visit. And of course, this is when I get my productive work done throughout the day. That music must distract the part of my brain that adds confusion or overthinks or something. I don't know. But this comes to mind here for me, and so I wanted to tell you about it. I must add that, and this is like the kicker, when it all comes down to it, I'm picking up alarm here. Something along the lines of how this month you got to take into account your mind, body, and soul. I think there's going to be glitches in communication within you. So now you've been warned. I honestly think this is throwing out signs that not only just internally are you going to be, are you going to be affected and out of sync, but the entire collective consciousness is going to be out of whack. And we are all going to be acting out of the line and having trouble communicating. This is what I'm getting. I don't get to pick the messages. I'm just the messenger. And I kind of wonder if this has something to do with having been cooped up on account of the global pandemic. Because we are all going to forget how to act towards each other. And I feel like we're going to crawl back into our shells to recoup from time to time. Like in waves. Once we lose our personal time which we've had for a while, as the world goes back to normal living. I have to mention, I feel like, like we're going to be like dumb teenagers and stuff, and we're going to have all these attributes about ourselves that are going to be displayed. And, you know, 
maybe like tantrums or arguing and stuff that's completely unnecessary and it's all just because our needs are not being met and our needs are to have time for ourselves okay um i don't know for i mean the next card you know and just to like cl clarify that I pulled another card, so we got, like, the King of Cups, which, you know, he's right here, and, like, this card was telling me that it's important to compare our present moment with the past, and so just notice how we, we used to feel, and, and, like, really notice how you feel now, <clears throat> because it's different, and it's better. And so this guy's clarifying all that. And I'm going to cover up. I really don't like that, guys. I covered him up. Okay, now, now I'm going to pull the infinity in. And this is the end of the reading. So infinity pushes. And infinity pushes hard. And I'm just going to kind of throw these down. Because I feel like that's how this would happen. Okay? And for the push of, um, you know, in, infinity. You get the knight of swords. Bam! right and the knight of swords is letting me know that there's going to be a couple of situations that will turn up this month where we're going to have to choose between being pleasant or and backing down or being our authentic self and saying what we really mean like i am also picking up like a huge don't delude yourself into thinking you have your own needs or you don't have your own needs. Sorry, so that's all wrong. Okay, so you do have needs. So don't try and delude yourself to the fact like of that and like think that you don't have needs because you do. Okay, so or else, bam, the six of wands, swords reminds us we'll have to spend more time regenerating. Thanks, bitch. And the the card. <laughs> and then the four of pentacles reminds us <clears throat> of another thing. The four of pentacles reminds us that another thing we're going to want to pay attention to this month is what we value. Exactly. Like, what value are we putting on our possessions? So, like, watch out for that. And don't use your possessions to equate your self-worth. The very next card that comes up in this situation is... I'm missing from my hand. It's the Knight of Cups. Like the knight, not the king. <clears throat> no, no, well, he's not here. Traffic. <laughs> Oh, it's right here in Philadelphia. So I'm like, ooh, that might mean he's super important. Okay, I always feel like when a card falls out of rotation, how come that's not him? You guys. Did we drop him? Night of Cups, Night of Cups, Night of Cups. He's all the way down here. How did he pull back in here? This is interesting. Okay. To me, this means this is a very important thing because I brought him back up, okay? And I'm not really sure why because he's backed up with the Eight of Wands in this portion, okay? I'm going to set them off to the side so you can actually see what they mean. So here we have the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. How weird. This is like the weirdest reading ever because I have two separate places where this fell into place and I'll explain the second one later. But with the, the Knight of Cups backed up with the Eight of Wands, these two cards are like going back to reinforce. Hey, we went back. Like I just said, our main challenge this month is going to be, and like I have this written in like big letters and like bold and everything because like I, the connection, like just know allowing ourselves to be ambitious while remaining true to our morals and values is super important. Like this is gonna fuel our own personal successes. And our personal success is very important. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, that was the end of the push. And push, you know, comes to shove. And like that's 
maybe why this was all a little confused right there. But now the, the pull from infinity is what comes up next. And I love the moon card and the moon card is what we get. So I guess I'll just lay it right here in the middle and it looks like a big mess, but it all makes sense to me. So the moon is instilling just how important that like allowing of ourselves to be ambitious, but staying true to ourselves is going to be because it's only when you personally make the effort that positive changes will occur. And there's going to be a lot of changes going on this month. And we need to remember that like ultimately we are each on our own individual journey and to stay true, you need to stay true to yourself the most. Like as you go down your path, it's key. We need to be strong alone too. I think that people forget that they need other people and we also need other people. But if you consider the people in your life from the beginning of your life until the end of your life, like, I feel like you'll realize that like all along you needed to take care of yourself before you could be there for anything or anyone else. This is a very important message. Just don't forget it. Okay, and then like the final card is doo -doo -doo, drum roll, the two of wands, okay? The two of wands is closing out the reading and the message I am picking up from it in regards to how it cinches up the gestalt of the universal input we need to take from this reading is this. Foster your visions and direction in the right way so that you can share and contribute the valuable contribution you and only you are capable and willing to give. Because when you lose track of your vision and stop believing in yourself, it affects us all. The whole world and the collective consciousness suffer when we lose track of our goals, which are to share and heal through one love. Okay, and I had called that the last card, but this is the weirdest day of my life. I mentioned this, this freaking card. She needed us to talk to her. Like it's just the strangest thing. And let's just like set her up here by Abraham Lincoln's been watching this because we're staying in a house. that's not ours. And show him the weird little thing over there. Like that's the coolest, craziest thing. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. So the queen of cups is all alone here, right? Just a card all alone by her lonesome self. She wanted me to tell you her story. So it is so. She is gentle, loving, a sweet little old thing. The world guides her, which leads the way. And she soothes you with her intuition and knowledge. Even when we don't ask for help. Like ask for her help. <clears throat> She loves our beauty just as much as she loves the tragedy we hide within. And she loves each and every one of us deeply and embraces us for who and what we are. Be like her. Because she is the card of this reading. Somehow she needs you to hear her message and lead by her example. Because I didn't even pick her and here she is on the bottom of my pile. It's actually kind of creepy in a good way. Like a miracle or a sign or something. Nobody has been in this room or touched these cards and no and I notated the feeling like in between me notating the feelings on them. So be like the Queen of Cups. She's a doll and she needed us to literally hear her message today. So anyways, remember when you are thankful and grateful, you will be blessed. <clears throat> that's my message to you in the world like subscribe get a personalized reading and all that jazz have a beautiful present moment right now and now and now this is MJ checking out namaste